what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are diving in to some vikings this is going to be season 5 episode 15 a lot of people are praising this as one of the best episodes of vikings a lot of people say this is their favorite episode in the season and i'm ready to see what's going to take place because we have king harold on the way to attack wessex um also you know, um, Aethelred didn't have the balls to call on the assassination of his brother. You know, King Alfred. Yeah, so everything is on edge right now. You know, I um, and then there's the storyline of um, King Ivar killing the seer. It seems. Um, you guys are saying that I, I I'm I was watching at least one of my subscribers told me that I was watching a cut version of the show, um, so he led me um, to watch the other you know they were cutting out some of the violence and stuff like that of the show, so I went back and watched the extended version of it. Pretty cool, pretty cool, but in any case, um. Floki's um, situation over there of banishing um, those guys that were causing trouble, who started the trouble, I think that was the best thing for them to do. It's not, it was not his intention over there, but that is what pretty much happened in every, in every civilization since the beginning of time. That's how everything always gets, people always get separated you come to settle down people have disagreements blah 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 then you start killing each other and then guess what we have to be separated to go build our own because people just can't stay agreeable peace will never last for too long because somebody's always going to feel like they're better than somebody it's the curse of the human race okay it's the curse of the human race um you know we you know some of us who are or are like a certain way are always going to look at certain things and be like why can't we be like me like i'm a humanitarian if you want to call it like i i'm for us coming together and getting things done i think if people there's so much more that we can accomplish as a race you know what I'm saying? As a human race, if we work together, you we, we've seen the result of it, of like-minded people, of how much. Look at where we're coming from to where we are now, especially in technology alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, And even though you have that, you still have people that are just, they just want to, to rule and you know what i'm saying they just want to be in that position where oh to say oh i'm better than you you know what i'm saying so i think whatever is happening is just like the seer is telling king ivar man like those prophecies are harsh it's harsh but it's the truth you you, you can't you must you, you you can say you don't believe in the god but to elevate yourself among them why would they why would they you're um you were born down here he's not even a demigod not even to say that yeah you might, might be a descendant of odin but you're not like odin didn't come down and have sex with your mom f to get you you're ragnar's son you get what i'm saying so anyways we're gonna jump into this episode let's go see what the hype is all about and then i will see you guys for the review. Bruh, that ep those two episodes are really good. I'm not going to lie. They're really picking up things before the end of the season. We'll go, what we got? Four more episodes to go? Yeah, four more episodes to go. And... It was absolutely, I'm not going to lie, these were two of the best episodes of the season, no doubt about it, coming from, um, you know, the, well, not really all-out war, but the battle between King Harold and King Alfred, 
you know, with Bjorn fighting by them, Lagatha is now missing, Bishop Hegman is dead, um, now Eighth Red is dead, like, so much happened in those two episodes, um, the other two storylines are not so interesting right now, I think the most, it, it's so funny that the interesting storylines are always, like, you know, the storylines that are happening was always back in, like, Kattegat and, you know, all out, you know, Vikings, the Vikings were the interest. Now it's the freaking Christians that are the, the really interesting part of the show. You get what I'm saying? Because what's going on over back in Kattegat is not so interesting. York, it's interesting because King Arrow, you know what I'm saying, come back with his tail between his legs, retreated, and now planning to go take over. He's just... I don't know what is his plan. Now that Bjorn is here, bruh, if they take Kattegat, Bjorn is going to be the king of Kattegat. He, the, the, he's going to be the king. It's not going to be you, King Harold, so what now? He will never get what he wants. His brother is dead. He's never going to get what he wants. So, as I said, man, interesting storylines that are, that are going on right now. I know Bjorn, you know, he was never going to you know, renounce the gods and all of this, the way he was acting, I, I didn't expect him to do that, I don't know where Lagatha is, she just disappeared into thin air, maybe I squinted and and, and she disappeared, <laughs> and I, I didn't see that scene where, where she went, nobody knows where she is, so, um, the interesting thing, King Alfred has taken sick again, um, I can see why episode 15 was one of you guys, was one of the favorites of the season, and one of the best episodes of the season, no doubt about it. Um, Alfred just couldn't find it in him to arrest Aethered and let him go. And does he have, did he have plans? Whatever plans he had, and he can't have them no more because Judith decided to take him out, which is, I didn't expect her to do because if you see, like before that, I was saying, yo, before that, I was saying um, that Judith, we know that Judith, you know, shows preference towards Alfred over Aethered, but I didn't think she would go that far. I think if if Alfred had decided to deal with him, you get what I'm saying? I don't think she would have minded. I don't think she would have fight, fight it, but I didn't expect she, she, her to take matters into her own hands because she's still his mom that's your firstborn bruh a lot of love lost <laughs> for judith man i'm not even gonna lie to you like i she surprised me big time i mean not as in the the violence part of it but that's your son <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't care about, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the, in, in episode 50, I think it was episode 15, she was torturing the dude. That didn't surprise me as much, but this, but her killing Aethered, that surprised me. Oh, man, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. As I said, man, um... As I said, some of the storylines are making sense. I don't want to talk about the Floki storyline because I don't know where that is going. Um, when it gets there, I might say something about it, but because it's not that interesting. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can talk about it, but you're not going to really talk about it. You get what I'm saying? So, Because you don't really know what is the goal of them being over there. Like, you know, I guess they just wanted to keep Floki's character and they just gave him something to the side because they didn't know what else to do with his character at this point. So I, I think that's what's going on because it's kind of a side story that's not making, you know, that's not really attached to the main story. So it's kind of like, what's the use of it? Is this trying to teach us a lesson? What is it? You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know. So I don't want to, I don't really want to comment on it. Um, and, uh, to have an extended conversation about that part of the story because it, it's just not making any sense. He has zero connection to the main story of what's going on, basically England versus, 
you know what I'm saying, is Saxons versus Vikings. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the main storyline right now. And we're seeing how that play out. Um, what is going to be the consequence of Ivar killing the seer? Well, I guess we're going to see that too. So, in any ways, man, I don't want to stay here for too long. I'm, en I'm enjoying the, the end of the season. Like, if they keep dropping bangers like this for the rest of the season... Is definitely going to raise the rating for me that I give it at the end of the season. Okay, so thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Don't forget to like, comment, and destroy that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? If you're new, join the crew. See you guys later. Peace.